Hello everyone, my name is Mariusz Gajdzik and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, photography and everything around it. Today we're gonna test out and review a new mic that was sent to me by Fototechnika in Poland, which I'm very thankful for. And it's a Konica track shot. And I think it's a really interesting mic. And it has one thing that I didn't see any other mics on the market having. So stick around and see what that is. And let's see what's in the box first. So first thing you see in a box is the case for the microphone. And I really like that from the beginning because when I was reviewing the Comica Boom XD, that was the only minus I had when it comes to that microphone. I didn't like the fact that it didn't have the case because there was a lot of parts and I was kind of furious that we don't have any case to carry it around. And Comica have listened and now with this mic we have the case and we're gonna see what's inside of this case. And the first thing we see in it is the microphone itself. And as you can see, this microphone has two different mic capsules, but more about that in a minute. Next thing we see is the camera connection cable, as well as the smartphone cable, which I really like the fact that this is included in a box. Uh, you can connect it to your smartphone, to your laptop, to your tablet, and I feel like this is a very nice thing of Comica to include it in a box. The next thing we see is the USB to USB-C cable. And I like the fact that this is the USB-C cable and not USB micro or USB mini because we are in a 2021 and everything should be on USB-C. Along with that, we get two windshields. And I really like the fact, again, that we have that included because not every Every mic you buy have a windshield in a box and here we have it so this is very nice of Comica to include as well. Except for that we have all the papers like warranty, manual, stickers etc but nobody cares about that. So Comica TrackShot is a super cardioid uh, shotgun mic, which means that it's very directional. So if you want to have a good audio, you should be in front of the mic. But this mic has a tricks up its sleeve and it's this movable mic capsules, which are gonna let us have four different modes of recording. And first of those modes is the mono mode. So this is like your standard shotgun mic mode. Uh, you basically put it in mono, you point your mic at the subject and the subject speaks to the mic and you have a nice mono directional audio of the person who talked to the mic or whatever else you're recording in front of the mic. So this is the standard option like uh, any other shotgun mic. But you can move those capsules and this is really nice and I didn't see any other mic doing it. And you have another three modes that you can use thanks to that. First of them is the 30 degrees stereo mode and basically you put the capsules on a 30 degree angle and you record in stereo. Uh, basically if you want to record uh, like a close ambient sounds or even person speaking it should be nice if you have the person a little bit further from the mic to record it in the stereo. The second mode is the 90 degree, degree stereo and I like that too when it comes to recording like ambient noise of the environment. Uh, if you want to uh, record something uh, that is quite wide when it comes to sound this is a very nice mode to do it and the best one in my opinion the one that I like the most is the bi-directional mode you point one like capsule in front and one in the back and you can record the audio for example when you vlog in like you can talk to the camera when you're behind and the person you're talking to can talk to the camera and you have a nice audio from the back and front of the mic. And I didn't see many other mics doing it, so I like the fact that this mic is sort of like a transformer of a mic. And I like the bi-directional mode for recording an interview, for example, or 
filming two people on uh, talking to each other on a camera. One capsule pointed on one person, the other capsule pointed on an other person and they can talk and you have two separate audio tracks and you can film both people or like I said and I'm probably going to be using that a lot for vlogging. When I want to speak to someone and I want a viewer to hear me but also hear the person that I'm talking to in front of the camera. So this is going to be very nice, but we're definitely going to test those uh, modes out in a minute. The microphone is built from metal and I really like that because if you're going to drop it, it's not going to break like any other plastic mic would and it should stand a lot of time and use and abuse and everything like that. It seems like it's a solid mic and I wouldn't be worried about it. But with this metal construction, you don't need to worry about the weight, which is only 130 grams, which is pretty much like any other uh, shotgun mic on the market and it's not heavy and it's also pretty compact. So you don't need to worry that it's a big mic. The price of the mic is $179 on the Amazon and I think it's a good price for what it is. The microphone has a built-in battery which should last us for about 20 hours and so you shouldn't be worrying about running out of battery on a day of shooting and if you do you can charge it via USB-C cable from the power bank while recording so this is nice and the charging will take you three hours to charge it fully so even if you don't need to use it for a moment, you can plug it in and you're probably gonna get a lot of use even with half an hour of charging. So uh, charging takes three hours to charge it fully and it lasts us 20 hours. So you shouldn't be worrying about the battery life on this mic. On the top of the mic, as well as the two mic capsules, you will find the adjustable gain level wheel that is stepless so it's not going to click when we want to change the level of the audio we are recording. Next to it you will find the screen and on it you can check the battery level, the mode you are in, the levels of the audio recording and if you have the low pass filter on or off. Next to it on the back of the mic you will find the on and off button which doubles as the uh, low pass filter on and off button and a mode button which will change the modes and you're gonna see the mode you're in on the screen which would be nice if the mode would change when we change the orientation of the capsules on the mic automatically but it doesn't which might be plus or a minus but for me it's a minus because it would be nice if it would change by itself but for some people it might be a plus because they might be able to use different modes than the Comica lets us, so yeah. On the left we will find the output which we will connect to our camera and also the USB-C socket which we will use for charging as well as the upgrade of firmware. And what I really like is the fact that on the right we have the headphone output which is really useful for when your camera doesn't have the audio output and you want to monitor the audio. For example, my A6400, Sony A6400, doesn't have the audio output, so I'm really happy to be able to use this one when I want to record the audio on my Sony A6400. And I already said that about the Comica Boom XD and on my review, when I was doing that review for the Comica Boom XD, that I really like that function. So I'm really happy it is here too. On the bottom, we will find the Hot Shimand, which is placed on a special airflow shocking absorption system. And I like how compact that is comparing to some other anti-shock systems that for example, Rode uses and it lets the microphone to be much smaller and uh, have a much smaller profile. One, two, three, this is the test of the Comica track shot in mono mode. One, two, three, this is the test of the Rode Video Micro Mic. One, two, three, this is the test of the Rode Wireless Go with the Rode Smart Love Plus. One, two, three, this is the test of the Comica track shot in mono mode with low pass filter. One, two, three, this is the test of the Comica track shot in 30 degrees stereo mode. One, two, three, this is the test of the Comica track shot in 90 degrees stereo mode. 
One, two, three. This is the test of the Comica track shot in the bi-directional mode. One, two, three. This is the test of the Comica track shot in the bi-directional mode. One, two, three. This is the test of the Comica track shot mic. And this is how it sounds in mono mode while I'm vlogging in a forest. One, two, three. This is the test of the Comica track shot mic in stereo mode in 30 degrees angle and this is how it sounds while I'm vlogging in the forest. One, two, three. This is the test of the Comica track shot microphone while vlogging in 90 degrees stereo mode and this is how it sounds in the forest. One, two, three. This is the test of the Comica track shot microphone in bi-directional mode. I'm behind the camera right now and Martina is gonna tell us what are we doing. Hi, it's Martina. We are testing one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. This is the test of the Comica track shot microphone in bi-directional mode. I'm behind the camera right now and Martina is going to tell us what are we doing. Hi, it's Martina. We are testing one, two, three, one, two, three. <music> So hopefully after those tests you can decide yourself if you like the audio from this mic or you don't, if it's a mic for you or you don't like it at all. But if you want to know my opinion, I really like this mic, I like the fact that I can vlog on it and point it at somebody that I'm talking to and me behind the camera and the audio from both are really nice and I'm probably going to use using that a lot when it comes to that. Other thing that I'm going to be using it for is this studio recordings. Normally I use the Rode Wireless Go with the Smart Lab but now since I have a better mic I'm probably going to boom it and record the audio this way so if you watch any of my future videos you're probably going to hear that microphone in my bedroom studio. The only minus that I found about this microphone is the fact that it doesn't have the auto on and off switch uh, when you turn on the camera and turn off the camera like some other mics for example from Road Half. I really like the idea of it and I really uh, wish it was here as well but it isn't but for the price we're paying we probably not gonna be able to afford everything but it would be nice to have it if you like this video leave it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell it helps a lot to spread my channel to some other people and it motivates me a lot to create more videos and also check out my Instagram, I post a lot of photos and videos there too, a lot of backstages, etc, etc. So I would really appreciate it if you checked it out. And I think this is it for this video, so I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.